Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be building the best team possible in NBA 2K22 My Team. Now, before we hop into this video, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every single day and I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already, if you do hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's hop right in. Let's not waste any more time. Let's start off with the starting point guard position. At the starting point guard position, I think the best PG in the game right now is Gary Payton. And I think most people would agree with me on that. Uh, Gary is incredible, incredible card. Uh, He's got seven Hall of Fame batters, 25 golds, 15 bronzes, or 15 silvers, I'm sorry. Six foot four with a six, seven wingspan. Two hot spots are outside the three point line. He's 92 offense, 99 defense. So he's got great size. The point guard position is the first thing to note. Finishing wise, he's solid. He gets every badge in the game as well, which is pretty nice, except for the blinders badge. Green Machine Hot Zone Hunter level spot. There are a few shooting batters he doesn't get, but besides that, he pretty much gets every badge. Oh, and a couple of defensive badges as well. But that being said, He's got seven defensive Hall of Fame badges, including ankle braces, ball stripper, clamps, menace pick, pick dodger, pickpocket, and talus defender. He is the best on ball defensive card in the game right now. Um, also comes with gold interceptor, intimidator, off ball pest, pogo stick, defensive leader, hustler. Like he comes with all these gold defensive badges. Also, all of his silver badges pretty much can be upgraded, except for I believe there's one, one of them, lucky number seven, that can't, but you can upgrade his sniper to gold. You can upgrade his handles for days, his hyperdrive, his unplockable, his anchor breaker, things like that to gold as well. Um, and that just gives him extra value. And then he also gets the chef badge, he gets corner special dead eye uh i probably wouldn't add corner specialist but he gets chef he gets dead eye he gets a uh, like stop and pop um he gets rim protector post lockdown drop stepper post drive so there are a lot of good badges that you can add to this card as well to improve him and he has an 83 shot three 93 speed and excel yes uh, decent ish driving dunk he dunks the ball decently and then he's elite on the defensive end obviously 97 perimeter 97 lateral 97 steel he's the best defensive guard in my team right now and i don't think it's particularly close at all uh so i mean he's just an incredible all-around card and his defensive ability at the point guard position is one of the most valuable things about him that most point guards don't give you right now in my team and i think for that reason that is the main thing that makes him the best point guard in the game is how elite he is defensively in addition to i didn't even talk about his release and his jump uh his dribble six release is solid as well he's got base 40 which is a nice jumper it's similar to the jumper that nick batum had last year um dribble style is shifty which is a great dribble style obviously and then he's got the pippin behind the back which is the pro three behind the back his uh, lebron james crossover that's like the pro two between the legs so he is a phenomenal card incredible dribble six good jumper defense uh, offensive ability is solid as well he's just a great all-around card at the starting shooting guard position i'm gonna go with kobe bryant um I am really high on this Kobe card. I know some people aren't quite as high on him as I am, but I still think he's the best shooting guard in my team. He's 6'6 with a 6'11 wingspan, one hotspot from the left corner. Three Hall of Fame badges, a fearless finisher, dead eye, and volume shooter. He also has a bunch of good shooting badges. Doesn't get the chef badge, the sniper badge, or the limitless spot up badge, which is a little bit unfortunate because those are three of the best shooting badges in the game. But that being said, I still think he is an absolutely phenomenal card. Um, He's got silver quick first step. All his playmaking badges can be upgraded to gold. He can get all the other playmaking badges like a bullet passer, ankle break, or quick chain things like that as well uh, and then defensively he's really solid he's got golden intimidator and pogo stick silver clamps hustler interceptor menace pick dodger post lockdown a lot of good badges on this card he's a solid all-around defensive player with good defensive stats 88 speed and excel 84 speed with ball is very nice to shooting our position as well and then an 83 shot three good mid-range shot and a good slashing ability as well and then he has the kobe jumper which is incredible and the kobe dribble six kobe dribble style is phenomenal the kobe size up uh that's between the legs that he has is uh exclusive to Kobe basically and it's a really nice move to in the half court um dribble sigs are decent as well um and then he's got that burst ability with the Kobe Bryant dribble style which works like a shifty or quick which is something that most of the shooting guards don't have in the game which gives him a lot more versatility and value in my opinion if you need cheap safe and reliable mt make sure you go check out safembamt.com use code jc2k for five percent off at checkout and go get that god squad you've always wanted at the small forward position, I think Paul Silas is the guy to run at the small forward position right now. This Paul Silas card is very challenging to get out of triple foot online. I got lucky and got him yesterday. It took me about seven boards, and I really considered that lucky in how quickly I got him because it's going to take a lot, a lot of people a lot longer than that. But that being said, 86 offense, 98 defense, 6 7 with 7 1 wingspan. Um, he comes with. A 77 mid range shot, a uh, 77 three point shot, I'm sorry, 85 shot mid, 92 speed and excel, 85 speed with ball, 85 driving dunk, 90 interior, 92 lateral, 92 steel, 89 perimeter, 82 block. Very well rounded defensive card, obviously. Four Hall of Fame defensive badges are Interceptor, Intimidator, Pogo Stick, and Talus Defender. These three are really good defensive badges. Also, Clamps on Gold, Ankle Braces on Gold, Brick Wall, Ball Stripper, Hustler, Menace, Pick Dodger, Post Lockdown, Rebound Chaser, Rim Protector. He can play on the interior and on the perimeter as an elite defender. Um, and then a Gold Quick for step as well he gets glue hands um 
he gets every shooting badge as well which is really nice and his jump shot's good he's got the same jumper as Draymond, Draymond green it's very easy to green i'll be with a 77 three-pointer i since i've gotten this card green basically every open shot with him shifty dribble style on a on a uh, forward as well is something that is pretty much exclusive to him and paul's paul pierce and then once we get a kd he will also have that ability to move very effectively at the uh small forward position but his size up isn't great he does have the pro three behind the back which again is incredible and then um his so he does have the ability to create a lot more than most small forwards in my team right now as well as the ability to get blinders he can get uh limitless spot up as a badge that I definitely add to him and sniper those three shooting badges make him a lot better and then you could also go toward a badge like a dead eye um a badge like even a green machine a catch and shoot things like that you can add another ba shooting badge or two to him as well to just improve him even more but if you add those few shooting badges to him put a shoe on him to do his three-point shot you're not going to notice a little three-pointer at all he is a knockdown shooter in addition to his elite defense elite slashing and great playmaking at the small forward position at the power forward position we have carmelo anthony who as you all know i am incredibly high on if you did not grind for carmelo you missed out because in terms of a free card who is not that unattainable and was is an amazing amazing option carmelo anthony is that guy 99 offense 88 defense 6 8 with a seven foot wingspan four hot spots outside the three-point line seven half badges 27 golds and 13 silver badges as well as four on bronze every badge he has can be upgraded which is absolutely phenomenal he can also get every badge in the game so all of his shooting badges are on gold basically and then chef circus three spades can all be upgraded to gold i would upgrade the chef for sure but everything else is on gold at least hall of fame blinders difficult shots hot zone hunter mismatch expert volume shooter and, and rhythm shooter which is really valuable and then hall of fame ankle breaker as well his quick first step and quick chain can both be upgraded to gold as well as bullet passer um 93 shot 390 speed and excel 84 speed with ball so he's a great shooter and he's got great athleticism at the power forward position and he's also a really nice slasher 85 driving nook and a really solid defender. defensive stats aren't incredible but 83 perimeter 83 ladder with a 6-8 guy with a seven foot wingspan and a decent player build and then the ability to get all these um Defensive batters already comes with five upgrade those to gold and give him clamps give him intimidator give him pick dodger things like that he is a really really good all-around card just very capable in basically everything that he does um really well-rounded has the carmelo jumper which is really nice and easy to green on current gen he does step in from the corners at times but besides that that's like one of the very few things that i have about this card that i kind of think is a complaint um he's a great card very high on carmelo and think he is one of the best cards in my team right now at the starting center position i would go chris weber i think chris weber is the best big in my team right now he is a little bit undersized center position only six foot nine but he does have a seven three wingspan and he's really really well rounded uh one hot spot, one hot spot from outside the three-point line is in that left corner um comes with hall of fame grace under pressure post spin technician break starter post playmaker hustler and rebound chaser also comes with a bunch of gold finishing badges can get the posterizer badge comes with gold catch and shoot which is nice also can get sniper which is a really valuable badge one of the best if not the best shooting badges in the game definitely would add that on him also does not get quick first step which is all right but he does already have uh, some Hall of Fame playmaking badges. He comes with gold, gold bullet passer, dimer, glue hands, which are some very valuable badges for a big to have, as well as the bailout badge. And then defensively, he's really solid as well. He gets every defensive badge. Uh, his defensive badges on the interior can be upgraded to gold. And then he can get clamps. He can get intimidator. He can get pogo stick. Those three defensive badges are definitely must adds, I think, on him. Well, maybe not must, but definitely back badges I would recommend adding. And then he can shoot the three. He can slash. He's got, got great speed in center position, 82 speed and excel, 78 speed with the ball. And defensively, he's very well rounded as well. Great rebounder, Hall of Fame rebound chaser as well. Helps make up for the fact that he's only six foot nine. Uh, jump shot is really nice. It's the exact same jump shot as James Worthy. Kind of does release from his chest, but that being said, I do not struggle to green it at all. I feel like I green very consistently with him. He is a phenomenal pop big. Also has the ability to catch on the perimeter and attack the rim, which is really valuable with his speed and his athletic ability, which is super valuable. And I think he is the best center in my team right now. At the backup point guard position, I know some people would go Steph Curry. Me personally, I would go Isaiah Thomas. And the reason that I say that is because I feel like IT is a much more well-rounded card. Steph may be a great offensive card, especially as a shooter and in terms of his dribble sigs, but Isaiah is the better all-around card. And Isaiah is 96 offense, 92 defense, 6 hole with a 6-4 wingspan, hot spots for everywhere outside the three-point line. And the thing about him is he's a glitch card. And every glitch card this year has been able to get every badge in the game, at least every top-end glitch card. Um, which is really valuable. He's already got, he's glitched to dunk the wall, which is really crazy on an Isaiah Thomas. He's got a 95 driving dunk, Hall of Fame, limitless takeoff and posterizer. Also gets um, gold fast switch, acrobat unstrippable. Shooting badge wise, he's solid. Also already comes with corner specialist, catch and shoot that can be upgraded, stop and pop that can be upgraded. He gets blinders, he gets chef, he gets limitless spot up. Uh, he gets sniper and then already comes with gold quick first step hall of fame diamond and floor general gold quick chain gold downhill handles for days bullet passer bailout. Um, 
glue hands can be upgraded to gold comes with gold interceptor gold pick dodger clamps can be upgraded to gold uh pickpocket can be upgraded to gold he comes with gold pick dodger he can get intimidator and pogo stick just a really well-rounded card all the way around really nice defense 92 lateral quickness is very valuable 95 speed and excel 95 speed of ball is one of the fastest point guards in my team and an 82 th shot three with a nice with a nice sh jump shot and with how easy it is to green this year he is absolutely knocked down quick dribble style is in my opinion the best dribble style in the game this year and then dribble sticks are decent as well so he's a great all-around card was the best point guard in the game until gary payton came out and still i think he's better than steph curry and is the second best point guard in my team right now at the shooting guard position this one was tough for the backup shooting guard position I went Jalen Brown. I think you could also make an argument for Vince Carter. I think you could even make an argument for James Harden, in all honesty, and maybe even a couple other guys like a Donovan Mitchell. But um, for me personally, I went Jalen Brown. And Jalen Brown is an incredible card. 93 offense, 93 defense, 6'6 six, six with a 6'11 wing. He's been four hot spots from outside the three-point line. He's got good size. He's got five Hall of Fames, which are posterizer, catch and shoot, and then pick dodger, pogo stick, and tireless defender. He's a great defensive card. This pick dodger badger is super valuable. He's never going to touch a screen. Also, gold clamps, gold interceptor, gold pickpocket, gold ankle braces. Doesn't get other badges unfortunately but he does have gold glue hands uh, bullet passer can be upgraded um silver unpluckable he can get dimer he can get handles for days he can get quick first step which will help make him a better shooter or i'm sorry a better playmaker more athletic in that as aspect 89 speed and excel 84 speed of ball as well at the uh shooting guard position is really nice he's um Shooting wise, the Hall of Fame catch and shoot is really valuable. Gold sniper, so he knocks down wide. Gold green machine as well. Um, silver limitless spot up can be upgraded as well, which is very valuable. Even though he doesn't get the blinders or chef badge, the silver limitless spot up that can be upgraded is super valuable as well to get extending his range and making him a more improved card. He's a nice, really nice shooter. 90 driving dunk. He's just a really well rounded card in terms of his capability to do everything. Doesn't have a great dribble style. He's not going to be a playmaker like a guy like Kobe Bryant or even a Paul Silas would be able to do as a secondary creator. But that being said, he's got a really good jump shot and he is just a super well rounded card in terms of his ability to do everything at a high level on the basketball court at the backup small forward position i'm going with grant hill and i think grant hill uh, somebody just rang the doorbell i apologize but if y'all heard that but grant hill is another phenomenal card he's got incredible stats and badges four hall of fame badges are finishing badges including acrobat posterizer and unstrippable 95 offense 93 defense two hot spots from from the corners comes with um, really nice shooting ability in all honesty. I feel like Grant Hill is not anticipated to be a great shooter this early in the year, but an 83 shot three is more than good enough as well as coming with the sniper badge, the catch and shoot badge, green machine badge, and hot zone hunter badge. So from those corners especially, he is absolutely knocked down, but really from everywhere, I don't struggle to green with Grant Hill at all. Uh, also, 93 speed and excel, 88 speed with ball, 95 driving dunk. He is an incredible athlete with these finishing badges. Also comes with gold quick first step, uh, gold ankle breaker, bullet passer, dimer, um, silver handles for days can be upgraded, unpluckable can, up can be upgraded. He gets bailout and glue hands and quick chain if you wanted to add those to him also comes with the ability to get rim protector and chase down artists which i definitely add to him and already gold clamps gold ankle braces gold interceptor intimidator hustler pick dodger pickpocket pogo stick silver menace can be upgraded rebound chaser post lockdown can be upgraded defensive stats are really good 93 lateral on a 6-8 guard but not not guard 6-8 forward but with a 6-11 wingspan so he's got really nice lateral quickness he's a great on ball lock with great speed great shooting and great dunking ability really good all around card nice jump shot as well it's not incredible but it's not like bad doesn't have the playmaking ability with the low dribble with the not great dribble style but he is really fast which is nice in transition um, i do feel like i can push the floor with him and have success and uh, just a really good all-around small forward card a guy who i was running in my starting lineup until i got paul silas yesterday at the backup power forward position this is another tough position for me but i decided to go with lebron james LeBron is probably one of the weaker cards on this list in all honesty, and that's unfortunate because LeBron obviously is a guy who y'all know I'm very high on, but um, I think he's the GOAT, obviously. But 93 offense, 90 defense, 6'9", 7 foot wingspan is really solid. No hot sauce from outside the three-point line. He has bronze sniper. None of his shooting badges can be upgraded, which is kind of lame, but does get gold, silver green machine, silver... Um, I guess silver hot sun hunter silver stop and pop does not get blinders or catch and shoot or chef or dead eye or limitless spot up some of those valuable shooting badges which is which is okay 79 shot three with the shooting badges he does come with he's still very easy to green and easy to knock down with every card with at least like a 75 three pointer it's easy to green with to be honest 91 speed nick shell 86 speed with the ball 85 driving dunk good defensive stats he comes with hall of fame bailout dimer needle threader and chase down artist also comes with um good finishing ability gold posterizer uh, does not get the quick first step badge, unfortunately, but does have silver, bull silver bullet passer, bronze. I'm sorry, silver clamps could be upgraded. Silver interceptor, intimidator, pick dodger, bronze ankle braces can get the pickpocket badge, the post lockdown badge. Um, Braun is a great card. I mean, I'm not going to take that away from him at all. He is still a very good card, but he does have a lot of silver badges that can't be upgraded. He's missing some decent, decently important badges, but he's still LeBron James. He gets LeBron's dunk animations, which are phenomenal. He's an incredible slasher. He plays defense better than his stats and badges would say, and he's a 
decent like he's got 91 speed at the powerful position which is really really good uh his jump shot is phenomenal on next gen they changed it on current gen it's the same that it's been in the past and i'm not super high on that jump shot it's even though i feel like this year it's very easy to green and i don't struggle to green it when i'm open he just steps in from the corners kind of like carmelo and it's not quite as quick as carmelo's jumper so i don't like that quite as much but i still think lebron is a really really good card um and i think he deserves to be on the best team in the game still for right now and then finally at the backup position i would go anthony davis i think there are some people that would consider going to kembe matumbo even people who may have make an argument for Josh Smith and y'all know I'm super high on Josh Smith but for me personally Anthony Davis is that guy he's 6'10 with a 7'2 wingspan so he's got pretty good size 94 offense 95 defense three hot shots outside the three-point line comes with call of fame fearless finisher postman technician set shooter intimidator pogo stick and rim protector which are three of the most important defensive badges in the game also comes with silver or bronze intercept bronze interceptor gold post lockdown brick wall chase down artist does not get the rebound chaser badge which is a little bit unfortunate especially for a center and that's one of the biggest deterrents for me from this card but he's still so good in everything else he does that I think he is worth using gets every playmaking badge is kind of valuable he can get his glue hands break starter bullet passer post playmaker to gold as well as give him bailouts give him quick first step give him dimer um, does not get shooting badges unfortunately again which is a little bit disappointing uh, but he does come with the silver catch and shoot gold corner specialist bronze green machine silver hot sun hunter does not get blinders does not get dead eye does not get limitless does not get sniper which are some of the more important shooting badges in the game but he's got a phenomenal jump shot so that helps a lot in terms of his ability to green and he's got decent dribble sticks especially for a big good athleticism 79 speed and excel uh, 88 driving dunk 90 standing really nice defensive card all the way around including on the perimeter he's one of the best if not the best perimeter defensive centers in the game um and then rebounding is a little bit of an issue with him but he is 610 and i feel like if you manually rebound it's not a huge issue and his jump shot is so so nice he is a great pop with really Really nice playmaking ability for the center position and the ability to get those playmaking badges is super nice as well not quite as good as chris Webber, i think but still definitely good enough to be on this team so this in my opinion is the best team in my team right now if i was going to go into the 250k tournament today this is the team that i would want to take with me so i hope this video does give you a good picture of what the best teams looking like right now who some of the best cards in the game are to pick up for your squad and um yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.